So today on December 2nd, 2017, we have come here together to witness and celebrate this marriage between Samantha and Craig. And we get to share in the joy of this occasion. And in the ceremony today, we are creating that outward symbol of an inward bond that already exists between you. Today, you are coming here to publicly affirm your love and to promise to continue to nurture yourselves, each other, and your union and acknowledge it in your lives. Now, a marriage symbolizes that intimate sharing of two lives. Now, the sharing shouldn't diminish, but enhance the individuality of each partner. You don't shed your individuality because it's really what brought you both together in the first place. Marriage is just that loving declaration that you should be no other than just yourselves. And a lasting marriage, well, that relationship and each individual gets that opportunity to be continuously growing and developing. Your understanding of each other gets to deepen and evolve, but it's not the ceremony. And it's not the state of being married that will truly join you and hold you together. But it is the commitment to your relationship and the kind of life that you want to make together. And in that way, your marriage is not going to be just a symbol. It gets to be more than that. This gets to be an action. Something that you get to work at actively each and every day. So with that being said... Let's start this wonderful celebration. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so as we start, Sammy and Craig, I would like for you to know that marriage, it really is just a precious gift. It's a that lifetime commitment I just spoke about. And you will, in the days ahead of you, you'll have those good times. You'll have happy times. Sometimes something mm. challenging times. But I will always promise you that there will be good times and times of joy. Because that's, you know, your relationship. It does have that possibility to be as easy as, say, maybe a Sunday morning. And as we stand here today, just us, here are a few words that would like to help you remember why we are here today. Love is never going to bed angry. Let your love be stronger than your anger. Learn that wisdom of compromise, for it's always better to bend than it will be to break. Believe the best of your beloved rather than the worst. Confide in your partner. Ask for help if you may need it. And remember that true friendship, well, that's the basis for any lasting relationship. Give your spouse the same courtesies and those kindnesses that you bestow upon your friends. Don't forget to say I love you every day. Now, you may have fallen in love by chance, but you're really here today because you are making a choice. You're both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, who makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. You're about to make some promises with each other that you intend to keep. And there's a very simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there. You're teaming up and saying to one another, every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be a part of. And now, Samantha, this is the really important part. So you got to look at Craig for just a second. Okay. Will you, Samantha... Keep Craig as your favorite person, to laugh with him, to go on adventures with him, to support him through life's toughest moments, to be proud of him, to grow old with him, and to find new reasons to love him every day. And then at this time, you have a few words of love that you would like to read to Craig. My love, I promise to choose you again and again at the start and finish of every single day, no matter the season, no matter the year. To struggle and to succeed with, to love and to grow old with, I promise to always hold your hand knowing there are still trails to be traveled and mountains to climb. And most of all, I promise to give you the very best of myself every single day. I love you very much. That was lovely. <laughs> and now, Craig, if you could please look at Samantha. Do you keep Sammy as your favorite person? Will you laugh with her, go on adventures with her? Support her through life's toughest moments. Be proud of her, grow old with her, and to find new reasons to love her every day. And now, Craig, it's your turn to tell your words of love to Sammy. Sammy, you're the reason why I am the man I am today. 
kindness and trust. I am excited to build our lives together with a love that will grow each passing day. Whether we are faced with hardship or with joy. I promise to love you unconditionally through whatever life has to offer. And I promise to never let my profession nor my peers get in the way of the love we share. You are my best friend. And from uh, this day forth, I promise to always be your sh shoulder to cry on. The one you can always trust and the one to help you up when you fall. Uh, you have me forever and always as the man you can come home to. The man you can count on and the man that will protect you no matter what. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, these three remain faith, hope, and love for the greatest of these is love. Those were amazing, Craig. Thank you. And if the two of you will go ahead, hold your hands. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on. That's on you. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't want to mess anything up. <laughs> okay. You can hold that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So now a good marriage, now this is created by two people who are prepared to put their partner's needs above their own. They complement each other as they work together for the good of the relationship. A good marriage has a strong foundation of trust and unconditional support for one another. It's having someone to share your hopes, your aspirations, and maybe sometimes your disappointments with. Marriage is being with someone who will be with you always through the ups and downs and joys and sorrows of life. And we all know that marriage does talk a lot about commitment and devotion and that lifelong appreciation of one another. And you know this. And you may feel that sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. But it doesn't have to be. As long as you remember to love, to be honest, and listen to one another. And trust me when I say that marriage really isn't something to be overwhelmed by. It's having someone to laugh with, to snuggle with, to put your cold feet on when you're sitting on the couch mm -hmm. binging Netflix. <laughs> it's having someone that gets those obscure gaming references or maybe even finishes the random songs that you sing. Marriage is having that partner to help you cheat when you play Monopoly. Or while you're doing that binge Netflix marathon, they'll bring you an adult beverage. This is your partner, your best friend, and the one person you can trust with the deepest secrets of your heart. And when you join together, there is no force that can stop you. And together, you will be able to conquer the universe. And here's a poem that truly rings for today. On that day, the saucers landed. Hundreds of them, golden, silent, coming down from the sky like great snowflakes. And the people of Earth stood and stared as they descended waiting dry mouth to find out what waited inside for us none of us knowing if we'd be here tomorrow but you didn't notice because on the day that the saucers came by some coincidence that was the day that the graves gave up their dead and zombies came up through the soft earth or erupted you know <laughs> shambling dry-eyed unstoppable and they came towards us the living we all screamed and we ran but you didn't notice this because on Saucer Day, which was also Zombie Day, was Ragnarok also. And that, the TV screen showed us a ship built of dead man's nails and a serpent and a wolf. All bigger than what the mind can hold. And the cameraman could not get far enough away. And all the gods came out. But on Saucer Zombie Battling God Day, the floodgates broke. And each of us, we were engulfed by genies and sprites, offering us wishes, great delights, and wonders and eternities of charm and cleverness and brave hearts and pots of gold. And while giants fifo fummed across the land and killer bees buzzed, you had no idea. Because on that day, Saucer Day, Zombie Day, Ragnarok, and Fairies Day, was also the day that the winds came. And snows and cities turned to crystal, and the day that all plants died, plastics dissolved, the day that all the computers turned and the screens were telling us that we would obey. On that day, the angels got drunk and muddled and stumbled from the bars and the bells of London were sounded. The day fluttering capes the and spoke of the to us in a time machine day. Yeti day the but you didn't notice any of this because 
on that day, you were sitting in your room. You weren't doing anything. You weren't really even reading. You were staring at your phone, wondering if I was going to call. So with that being said, now it's time to exchange rings. Now you've chosen to wear rings as a reminder of those promises. And people often say that wedding bands are a perfect circle with no beginning or no end. And as you look at these rings, I want you to remember that you have created something invaluable. And just as I know that you will protect these rings, I am confident that you will protect the commitments that you have made to one another here today. So Sammy, if you would please take Craig's ring, place it on his left hand, third finger, and please repeat after me. This ring, this ring. a gift for you, symbolizes my desire that you be my husband from this day forward. And as this ring has no end, and as this ring has no end neither shall my love for you. Shall now Craig, if you could please take Sammy's ring. Fabulous. And please repeat after me. This ring, this ring. A, gift for you, a gift for you, symbolizes my desire, symbolizes my desire that, you be my wife that you be my wife from this day forward. And as this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. Now many people have said that our real journey in life is interior. This is a matter of growth, a deepening and ever greater surrender of that creative action, love and grace within our hearts. Now this is your journey, Sammy and Craig, as husband and wife. By marrying today, you get to choose to travel as one to a home that's not a place, but rather an experience that's carried with you on every breath. This is an experience born of a deep love that takes you every day closer to the one that you are by simply loving each other, by being simply who you are. So may these promises that you made to each other here today be lived out to the end of your lives in an atmosphere of profoundest joy. Sammy and Craig, cherish your love together. Look to the future together because it is truly with great pleasure and much joy and with the power vested in me by this great and absolutely beautiful state of Colorado, I get to pronounce you now married. Now, your ceremony's over, and you get to experience living day by day. So you're going to go forward, and you're going to meet it gladly. Now, Sammy, mm -hmm. I know Craig's probably practiced a little bit this morning, <laughs> but would you kiss your groom? Congratulations. You both are now married. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hard part's over! That's awesome. Totally hard part's Woo! over. Okay? Yay! Yeah, I'm all warm okay. Because you looked really <laughs> cold for a while.